Hi there, welcome to Winner's Bitch. I'm Vicki Runketti, I'm the owner of Showdog Prep School. Showdog Prep School is an online confirmation college. We offer online courses, workshops, and a mentor program for all things confirmation. And what we're gonna talk about today is a little piece of structure. I was, last week when I did the live with Laura Reeves, who teaches our canine structure class, it really got me thinking about how people so often really don't know how to look at the different pieces of their dog. Laura's course is amazing. The canine structure course really gets into um, how to look at all the different parts and how to put what you've got in front of you, your dog, how do you compare that to the standard? So I just thought I would do some Winner's Bitch episodes talking about that. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today was shoulder layback because that seems to be one that's really challenging for a lot of people. The whole front end assembly can be challenging for people. Um, a lot of people almost learn, just they read their standard, they try and watch, but unless you really have someone help you and you put your hands on dogs, it's really hard to, to learn this piece by yourself. When I started out and when I was talking to Laura last week, we were talking about how when we learned, you know, my mentors would, would take a hold of my hand. We would grade litters of puppies at field trials or at dog shows or at people's homes. And she, they would take my finger and actually say, here it is, here it is, you know, here's this. This is where this is. They would put my hands exactly where their finger was so I could tell. And you'll sometimes see judges doing that. So this is Opie. He's a Finnish champion. Um, this is Old Ribbon. She's, she might get up here in a minute too so I can show you the difference. But um, I might just let him sit here. He's not groomed up or anything. He's, he's not being shown anymore. But when we're looking at the front assembly, of course you can see it on a, or rather the shoulder layback. When you're looking at a smooth dog, it's easier to see. And sometimes you can even, I'll look through like the docs and newsletters and in the smooth dogs especially, you can really see it. Um, in some breeds, you really have to get your hands on them in order to see it. Like with the long hairs, you can do some creative grooming to change the look of the front. And like I said, he's not groomed right now, so you're seeing him sort of fluffy, like he needs to be groomed. So when you're looking at the front end and the shoulder layback, what they're talking about is this piece here. This is the dog's shoulder. So you're looking at the distance and the angle from here to this notch down here. This part here is the upper arm, and this part here is the shoulder. So when they're talking about shoulder layback, this is that piece you're looking for right there. This, of course, is the fore chest here. Um, so when you're when you're looking at it, if you see a picture of a dog stacked, stand up, bud. You may be able to just see. This is not. This is barely long enough for him. So if you see a picture, you can kind of see that angle. And I posted pictures of Opie in the mentor program to have people take a, a pen or just on their computer or on their phone, draw the angle on so they can see what the angle is. So when you're looking at the layback, you need to put your finger in the top of the dog's shoulder. So at the very top of the dog's shoulder, there's almost a little point and you just roll it back slightly and you'll feel a little flat. Then you take that little flat piece there to this notch and that is the shoulder angle. So I have my thumb up here. Here's the, here's the very top of his shoulder right here. So I'm finding that point. Then I roll back and find the flat and then bring it up to that notch. See, so then you're looking for this angle here. And he's got pretty good shoulders. Ribbon, who's walking around, is steeper in shoulder. His shoulders have good layback. Some people will look at things like if there's a wrinkle here, and that can make the shoulders look more forward. Um, and sometimes having straight shoulders can cause this roll. But sometimes I notice that it's just, there's also dogs that have decent shoulders, but they don't have that nice flow from the neck into the shoulders into the back. So there might be some sort of weird shapes there. So when you're trying to do your dog's shoulders, 
One thing you can do is have a picture of the dog and then see if you can find it in the picture. I'm just trying to get Opie to stand a little bit here so you could, but find that flat, roll back, and then there's that notch there. And then there is the other angle. So you're looking for this and this. That's the angles you're looking for in the front when we say shoulder leg back. Now let me see if this old lady wants to get up here. don't go as far back as him. Now, also, he has a very short neck. This is short. When you look at, well, look at, this is a good way to compare it. When you look at the length of his neck, and granted, neither of their necks are trimmed, but you can see that he has a longer neck than she does. They both have, she has good fore chest, but when you, when you feel her shoulders, you can feel, it's actually not bad. It's not bad. But she doesn't have as good a layback, I don't think, as he does. Here's his here. Boom, boom. But that's what you want to see. And sometimes you'll, at least in dachshunds, I will sometimes see judges, actually, when they're going over them, because this is an important thing in this breed. And I'll see them sometimes put their finger here and then their other finger here. So you can see they go here to there to there. So they're sort of measuring it with their hand, the distance. And then I think sometimes maybe they're also doing that a little bit just to sort of help people. But that's how you look at layback. Again, I would try taking a picture of your dog. If you have a wind picture, that's great because then you know it's perfectly, you know, hopefully you've had the dog stacked how you want them stacked. And then you can see if you can, with the dog stacked correctly, do you want to get down? You can see if you can um, draw that line on there. So, you know, most of your uh, camera phones have editing programs and you could just take your stylus or your finger and just draw that line, draw that angle of the shoulder lay back here and the upper arm there and see what that angle looks like. Then stack your dog up or have someone else stack your dog up and then actually go over the dog. And I think it's sometimes easier just to concentrate on learning about one piece um, of the dog as opposed to trying to understand the head and the, you know, the shoulders and the forechest and the keel and the ribbing and the, you know, the tail set. You know, uh, get a piece down so you really understand it and you feel comfortable with it and it makes sense to you. And if you have any questions, um, by all means, feel free to ask me. Do consider Laura Reeves' um, structure, Canine Structure 101 course, because it's really, really great for that. And currently, through the 30th, our courses without coaching are on sale for 40% off. So you get 40% off with the code MISTLETOE40 um, through the 30th. So, Go ahead and try that with your dogs. Just see if you can, you know, you can start to understand that shoulder laid back better. And you don't even have to have show dogs. or You can measure this on any dog. It doesn't, you know, all dogs have shoulders and all dogs have laid back. Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. But it, you can get practice going over them. This is one of the reasons why I like to go over so many litters um, of puppies. You might also want to check out our litter evaluations course by me and Andrea Stone because we go through a lot of this too, why we, what we're looking for in terms of structure and stuff. Um, but I really want to start doing more of this where we show you how to find different pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Thank you all so much. Bye.